footprints. Um, and if you could read back that uh, that issue. What I had stated, and I'm certainly amenable to changing the wording, is discrepancies between the various site plans and subdivision plats shall be eliminated. Mm -hmm. These discrepancies include, but may not be limited to, location of building envelopes and existing building footprints. Building footprints deal with where the, the, the structure itself is located. Yes. Um, like the existing building on that one. Um, okay, is that what you were? I, or I could say footprints of existing buildings. Okay. Sure okay, so you were you were implying that of yes. uh, lot one specifically. Um, yes. Okay, lot one, phase one. I'm sorry. Okay, um, I misunderstood what you were. Any other discussion on the motion before us? I get the, the the proceeding for tabling requires uh, mutual agreement, and and as the chairperson, I just choose at this time that we'll take a vote, and if the vote uh, should be a, uh, an affirmative vote, then we'll ask the applicant for mutual agreement. If that's not given, then then we try again. Uh, rather than doing that at this time, I want to see what the the uh, wishes of the board are. Any other discussion? Seeing then, uh, take this to a vote. Uh, all those in favor of the motion for tabling as read and amended, please write your, please raise your right hand. Those opposed? Unanimous vote for tabling. Now I ask the, uh, the applicant for mutual agreement to uh, uh, postpone until our uh, next planning board meeting. Could you tell me, uh, mutual agreement means that both parties understand what they're doing. I just have a couple of questions that'll be brief. When's the next planning board meeting? When the next planning board meeting is scheduled for May 21st. Mm -hmm. I'd also like to point out that under the motion the board just approved, it says the next planning board meeting after the following issues are addressed. So that's assuming that all of the items that had been listed by the board would be addressed in the plans that were submitted for the May 21st meeting. Was that intentional? I thought it was a motion to table to a date certain. I did not know it was a motion to table no. indefinitely. Was that the intention of the motion? Yes. That's true. That was the intent of the... Well, it uh, addressed to whose satisfaction? I don't want to keep this thing going. I, I, I think what, what we're implying is, is that when we receive our next packet for, of information, that these issues that were listed are fully addressed uh, to submit uh, to the town planner uh, for our review for the next uh, whatever the meeting following. If it is not in by the submission date for the next meeting of the 21st, then it would go to the meeting after that. Yes. I don't, I don't know if it'll satisfy the applicant, but in, in determining whether the issue is addressed, I, I would refer to the planning board rules and the ordinance that talks about completeness, where the town planner makes a determination of completeness in con consultation with the planning board chair. And I, I guess I would use that same procedure in determining whether these issues have been addressed. Just a minute. Uh, I got well, you can comment. I got to understand it. Uh, addressed is a word that I just don't have a sense of. Uh, the next. What you're saying is they have to be addressed by the submission date, and I have forgotten. I haven't calculated that yet. Have you? The submission date is 18 days prior. Yeah, so I have trouble. Third? Uh, that sounds about right. Today is the 16th. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Almost the 17th. <laughs> <laughs> Have 
Has nine vanished? Yes. And seven is still in, i.e., give us the land. I can't make that decision, Mr. Chairman. I'll let the applicant make it because I, I'm not authorized to, to do certain things. Okay. Well, I'd like to confer with counsel for a second. But one of my problems with the amendments and the submissions that you say are lacking are in the town's possession and have been. CMP easement, all the documentation regarding CMP power lines are on those plans. And they had them. For how many months? Uh, when Mike McGovern, Maureen, and I met on the letter of credit amount, Maureen said to me, get me the information. It doesn't have to be by the deadline. I will incorporate it in the package. I did that. It was not incorporated in the package. Now it's held against them. Uh, I just, I just can't go on with this. There's zero cooperation. So let me confer with counsel and see where we go for next. That has to, that requires the permission of, the, of the, at least for the chair. Is that okay with you, Mr. Chairman? Will it be more than two minutes? Uh, it won't be more than five, I can guarantee you that, because I'm as tired as you are. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. We'll set a maximum of five minutes. Thank you. If you were to put a, an album together, you, how do you decide? Well, uh, you'd ask for some time to confer. Uh, so that, let's get this time in for your uh, decision. Yeah, I, <laughs> it's not a. The, the question arises with respect to when do you propose to act on the public access waiver item? When do we expect to act on the, the public access waiver? Yeah. Um, what do you, say the time? You, you could act on it tonight or, or you could postpone it. It depends on whether the applicant, I guess, you know, part of it depends on whether the applicant accepts the tabling motion. <laughs> well, if we accept the table motion, you're not going to act in the public access waiver. It, it, it may be that the board doesn't want to do anything else. Uh, that's why I asked the question. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I was just quickly reviewing um, our suggestion, uh, suggested motion on public access waiver to see if there's any reason why either we would want to make sure that we uh, act on it tonight or, or that we shouldn't act on it tonight. I don't see that there's an overwhelming need to act on it tonight. Okay. Uh, it adds a level of comfort and uh, to the applicant, as you could well imagine. Any comments to act on it? Uh, I, I think well, I'll let the other board members uh, state their opinion. With all due respect, I guess, Mr. Frinsco, seeing that the hour is close to midnight, I would like not to have to vote on something that I don't have to vote on tonight. It seems to me it makes an awful lot of sense to consider the public access waiver at the same time that we consider the I, I think I think the approval. issue really is is uh, the opinion of the board. I'm using both ears. Go ahead. That that um, huh? the applicant feels that all of this information has been before us. Uh, and we've had appropriate time to see this. It's been well organized uh, and, and timely. Uh, I, I think it might be the consensus of the board that that simply is not true. Well, that, that is a problem. The um, mm -hmm. problem we have is it is crucial to get this project approved promptly. I, I'm sure everyone understands the cost of carrying mm -hmm. property for this long. Uh, and I'm not suggesting that that falls with the board or the town but it is a fact of life. Uh, the problem that we have with the extension is 
the uncertainty of being able to accomplish uh, appropriate, uh, appropriately addressing condition three with respect to relocation of septic systems by May 3rd. That's the thing I'm concerned about. Uh, if the board adheres uh, to its usual practice, and I'm suggesting that given the, the uh, analysis that this project has had, it may not be necessary at this stage. I cannot assure you that the soils engineer can address adequately what I think you want in the time period left to us, which is about two weeks. Uh, and if we could have uh, a reasonable understanding from the board that with respect to that issue, uh, we're not going to get knocked off the agenda because it's not in your hands by May 3rd, mm. I think Mr. Kennedy would gladly accept uh, the opportunity to re-explore these issues. Is, is it a case that you don't think it will be done during that time period because... Uh, the case is that I don't have the individual in hand at this moment to say, in fact, that we will. And I, I don't know my question has to do with the site uh, uh, analyst, uh, the site evaluator. The yes, that's the problem. Is it a problem because he works another job and he only does this part-time? No, uh, it's not the problem. It's just a, a yeah, it's coordination problem. And I've been on that site with a very small backup. I'm going to bring in an excavator and I'll have at it. Which I really hate to do. That, I really don't think it's called for, but that's what you want. Right. What you want is a reevaluation to see if it can be accomplished. and. All I'm saying to you is if it can be accomplished by May X rather than May 3rd, uh, which would be your normal rule, uh, mm -hmm. would it uh, be satisfactory to the, to the applicant to get both ears? Um, yes, I do believe me. On that one item, uh, an additional one week time uh, extension? That would be very helpful. I, I think that would put it, what, to May 10? Is that approximately right? Yeah. Is that reasonable? I understand the motion correctly. It'll be everything but three by May third. Addressing everything but three by May third. Mm -hmm. Addressing three by May tenth, or I guess the next would be. I don't know what your June meeting is, so I'd have to. Eighteen days prior to the June meeting. Anyway, the, the third Tuesday in June. Yeah. Eighteen days before that. With that, yeah. you, with that, you have the applicant's consent. Okay. That's what we're waiting I'm for. I'm sorry. I didn't realize you. <laughs> I was waiting for your decision. I'm sorry. Uh, so you do we'll give mutual agreement for the table? From yeah. The, yes. With that amendment. With that amendment. Yes. May yeah. let it be a part of the record. That, uh, now, just to be careful, I am not certain if, if Ms. Lardner read. I think she made some minor changes in the... Uh, the uh, conditions for tabling, and I just wondered when they might be ready for us to uh, pick up. Um, we can try to have it to you by Friday. So when Alice can get it in sight. I can't be sure, I, I, but I, I can try. I can get you a draft. That'd be great. Tomorrow. Oh, Peter will pick it up. It's not getting it to us, so just when they're available, we'll come over and pick them up. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. It's a late hour. Um, I can't even find my agenda. 
we, I, I would suggest to the board that we postpone the affordable housing ordinance amendments. That's not a, uh, a key issue. We do have a key issue before us, Cape Woods letter of credit extension. Um, it requires a consensus of the board to take this uh, application, uh, this article up. Is everybody willing to? Do I have everybody's attention? Mm -hmm. You can come back up, Steve, if you'd like. I reappoint Steve Parkhurst as a voting member. Thank you, Judy. Comes, comes back the next day. <laughs> <laughs> Must be first. Yeah, you. <laughs> <laughs> you think? I really have lost my <laughs> the, uh, the only order of business, and I, I need the consensus of the voting members to take this up. Do I have yes. head nods? Yes. Okay. But, yes. Um, it's the extension letter of credit, Cape Woods Condominium Development Letter of Credit Extension to May 4, 1991, Section 16 4 c 7 Maureen, can you just quickly... Uh, Walk us through this. Cape Woods is a condominium project uh, where there is an existing line of credit. It has been reduced once. Uh, we have the town manager who would prefer to extend the letter of credit rather than uh, call it and uh, mm. do an extension of work that's still required on the site. Most of the buildings still have not been constructed. And I, I believe uh, there is a, a new financial arrangement being worked out between the bank and the developer. So uh, the ordinance does require that the planning board officially extend letters of credit, and that's what's being requested at this time. Is there any discussion on this issue? Nothing. If none, do I hear a motion? Mr. Chairman, I move that it be ordered that the letter of credit number 23749 issued by People's Heritage Bank in the amount of $47,520 for Cape Woods condominiums be extended to May the 4th, 1992. Do I hear a second? Second. Good job, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Make it worth a while. It's been moved and seconded. <laughs> um, any discussion? Don't you dare. <laughs> All those in favor of the motion, uh, please raise your right hand. Those opposed? It's the unanimous vote. Uh, late hour. Do I hear a motion to uh, adjourn this meeting? Second. Those in favor? Meeting adjourned.